Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about stress. Now, how stressed are you and how well can your body adapt to stress? Now, within our clinic, we have a non-evasive technology that's able to address stress. And what it's called is it's called heart rate variability. Now, what it does is it's a nice non-evasive test where we just stick a heart monitor onto the finger, and with that, it's assessing the heartbeat. And what should happen is that we should have, between each heartbeat, we should have um, slight variability between heartbeats. So you don't want them to be completely consistent, but you don't want them to be completely off. You just want them to be slight variability. And when you have this slight variability, this is the autonomic nervous system slightly adjusting that heart rate in order to keep our systems in balance. And this is our, our body's self-regulatory system. And so the heart rate variability is a way to assess the autonomic nervous system. So the autonomic nervous system is the nervous system that goes on in the background. It's that unconscious part of the nervous system. It's controlling our heart rate, our blood pressure, our breathing, our digestion, our blood flow. So all the things that we don't have to consciously think about for it to happen. Now, this nervous system actually has two parts to it. It has a stress state, so your sympathetic nervous system, your fight or flight, the run away from a tiger part of your nervous system. It's your body addressing stress. And then the other part of this nervous system is your parasympathetic nervous system. So it's your rest, digest, and repair. Now the challenge is, is that when your body is in that more sympathetic state, when it's find, trying to run away from that tiger, then your system is really revved up because you're trying to actually run away from that tiger. So you have an increased heart rate and your system is more agitated, more anxious, and your priority isn't digestion. So you may have poor digestion because when your priority, your body's priority is to get you away from that tiger, then you are trying to actually um, get the blood into the muscles as opposed to prioritizing digestion or prioritizing reproduction. When your body is more in that sympathetic state, it's, it's actually pulling away from being in that parasympathetic nervous state where it's the body is trying to repair itself, will get you into that deeper sleep, will digest your foods really well. So with this test, we're able to assess where you are. We're able to assess, our, are you more in that sympathetic dominant state or is, your, or is your body more in that parasympathetic dominant state? And where are they in relationship to each other? And we also get an idea of, of how that autonomic nervous system is functioning. So we call it a stress test because we can figure out how stressed is your body. And we can also assess how well your body is able to adapt to stress. So all of this is important information and gives us a really good uh, information about how well your system can adapt and an idea of your overall health. So this is a great assessment tool to find out um, how good of health your body is in and what we need to do in order to get your system back into balance. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful for you and that you have gained a better understanding of what heart rate variability testing is all about. And I hope that you will share this with your friends, that you will press the like button, make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.